Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. We're just going to see what we got for the end of August. This is for August 15th through the 31st. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This is not a private reading. It may or may not be for you. And then again, you know, this is a preview of what's to come. So the day you watch it, it may not resonate. You got to keep that in mind too. A lot of people don't get that. They don't. They just watch it that one day and they're like, oh no. Well, it's a preview, okay? So let's see what we got here. We're going to start right here for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you don't know, you can go to Cafe Astrology to get that information. Um, Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn for the end of August? Whoops. One card, please. Ooh, shine. Shine. Gemini got this as well, so... Yeah, you guys are going to be shining. You may feel like you're floating on air, right? You're shining, you're glowing, you're vibrating very highly, you're working on your health. You may be healing from some situations. Um, you're glowing, put it that way. You're absolutely... This is the sun card. This is happiness. This is... Happiness, healing, bliss. This is in your glory. You may be feeling like you're in your glory. You may be feeling lighter, okay? Um, like some weight has been lifted. So that is shining, shining bright. Capricorn. One card for Capricorn, please. In your own glory. Now that's also a card of enlightenment. So you may have been enlightened. You may be feeling light, okay? So maybe, I'm not sure if you're losing weight or whatever, but this is really, really illuminating. It's like your your chest is being illuminated. So it's like, it feels like you're going through some sort of healing of some sort. This big pile, we can't take that. Um... Envy. Somebody may be jealous, or you could be jealous. This could go either way. Somebody, you know, has an opportunity to step into the light, step into a better place, but they're not. So we have somebody over here that is kind of self-loathing, and they have an opportunity. You know, it's like, I want that. I want to have it all, but they're not doing anything about it. So I'm not sure if this is you, Capricorn, but this could also be somebody who's jealous of you. So it could go either way. There is some element of envy here. envy here. I want it. I really want all that, but not really taking a whole lot of action. Um, but then again, somebody could be jealous of you, so it could go either way. Capricorn. Now, if there's an opportunity to step into the light. So you have an opportunity to bring light to a situation. But this is a very positive energy. You have to think positive. You have to be positive. Hmm. No, there's really nothing to be envious over. Be happy with what you have. Just saying. I'm not saying that you're not. I'm just telling you whatever comes out, comes out. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And this doesn't have to be just parents. But it does say parents. You know, if our our parents neglected us, it, it affects us for our whole life. It gets passed on, you see. It gets passed on. For example, if I was neglected, then I would neglect. You know, it gets passed on. But you got to break the cycle. You got to break that cycle, Capricorn. Okay? Make sure that you're not repeating the same mistakes. I just got the goosebumps. Um, there's an opportunity to heal a situation, even, but forgiveness is needed.
Ten of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is a loss of pros prosperity. This is a dying dream, unfortunately. Turning away from family feuds, you know. You know, blocking. Somebody may have blocked somebody in their family. You may be holding a grudge. Maybe they were jealous. Who knows? But this is letting go of it. Okay? So this is... There's jealousy here for sure. This is jealousy as well. So there's jealousy. There could be rivalry in the family. Some kind of rival rivalry. Um, eight of... Not putting in effort. Ooh... No energy, a loss of ambition, a loss of desire. Something has gone south. The Ace, Ace of Wands. It's like there's a relationship that has gone south. Could be a family relationship. Could be a partnership. Whatever. Um, feeling guilty. We got somebody here that may be feeling guilty. For not putting in effort, for not working hard enough. Five of Swords, you first. Like, there's nothing left to prove. Let go of the emptiness. It's just time to be happy. Stop blocking your family. So I think that somebody has been blocking their family. Maybe, maybe, may have been because of jealousy of a, over a connection. Two of Swords reversed. A three of Pentacles. Lack of teamwork. Not working together. Lack of respect. Avoiding, avoiding the truth. Not wanting to accept the truth. Not wanting to see the truth. Blocking the blocking. Somebody's been blocking the truth. Wearing a mask. This is the tr that is the truth too. Trying to prove themselves, constantly trying to prove themselves. There's nothing left to prove. There's an opportunity to heal. You, there's an opportunity for happiness here, but you gotta let go of this grudge. You gotta let go of this heavy weight of some sort. There's bitterness. There is absolutely bitterness. There's deception. There's been some lies. There has been some lies. There's been some serious lies here. Thinking about going back. Thinking about going back home. Thinking about... Uh, there you go. Around the bottom. Capricorn. There's some sort of ego. This is ego. This is fear. This is pride. This is shadow side. This is, this is your demons. Facing your demons. Facing your fears. So this is a time of facing your demons. Facing your addictions. The devil is addictions. The devil is materialistic. The devil is pride. The devil is... Um, manipulation you know so i feel like we have somebody here that has been letting their demons the devil control them and i feel like you know a lot of you are not going to want to own up to this because it's clear that i don't want to accept this i want to take ownership of any of this and that would be the devil taking control. You need to break free from that negative thinking. You need to break free from that toxic bond, that unhealthy mindset. You know, burying your feelings with addictions to cover up how you truly feel. You're needing to prove yourself constantly, 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 constantly. That's what the, I see that. I see the, the need to prove yourself here. Let go. Let go of the need to prove yourself it's time to open up. It's time to be a family again. It's time to, you know, communicate. It's time stop holding a grudge. It's time to work together. It's time to be a team. It's time to stop wearing a mask. It's time to open up. It's time to block stop blocking. It's almost I feel like it's your family. You've been blocking your family. And this is thinking about going back, thinking about going back, but there's bitterness here, there's resent, there's, there's harsh, there's harshness, there's, you know, an assertive energy here. I feel like you are, have been dealing with somebody who is very harsh, this person may be a, very, a little bit cold, this person um, is very authentic and one doesn't play any games whatsoever. So when you come forth towards this person, you... You know, you have to be honest and true. And this somebody's been trying to avoid, you know, another person. Somebody's been trying to avoid. So Capricorn, I feel as though 
Your challenge is letting go of the need to prove yourself. You don't need to prove yourself anymore. There's been a loss of you know, abundance or a loss of a family situation or a, something like a loss of prosperity because of the need to prove your point, prove yourself. Ego is is here, okay? And I feel like there's there's that this has all been caused by jealousy. You know, I'm I'm just as good as everybody. You are just as good as everybody else. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. As soon as you realize that, the better off you'll be. So right now. This is accepting the truth. This this is in the right now position. It's this is the the truth being exposed. Okay, I feel like you've been emotionally guarded and you've been detached because of fear, fear of exposure, perhaps. Um, not putting in effort, not working hard enough. Um, not listening, um, right around the corner, this ace of sword, this ace of sight, it looks like a sword, but it's actually a wand. This is, um, being weighed down. Something didn't materialize the way that you thought it did. And there's been a lack of teamwork. People, people probably are reluctant to work with you because you, it's all your way or the highway. So, I'm sorry that I'm giving you this message, but I'm a Capricorn moon, so I hear you. I'm there. <laughs> okay? So, people are reluctant to work with you because, you know, there's no compromise. There's no compromise. If you, if, if you want things to be successful, you're going to have to make some compromises. And I feel like we have a very lonely individual here who is go going to grow more resentful as time goes by if they don't let go of the emptiness and let go of the need to prove themselves and just let themselves be. You know, you need to stop blocking everybody from your life. Let people help you. Let people in. There's a feeling of, you know... Betrayal, deception. Maybe you're very fearful of, of being cheated. You're being very fearful of being lied to. Maybe you feel like you were cheated. You probably were cheated. You were probably cheated. You were cheated out of, of happily ever after. Is that what this is? I mean, Ten of Cups reversed. Cheated of, you know, the dream that you always wanted has fallen apart. And it's probably fallen apart because there's been no compromise. There's been no teamwork. There's been a need to prove yourself and to be the boss. Not letting your family help. Not, not No forgiveness. Just a feeling of bitterness here. If you can't forgive, it will fester inside of you and it will slowly eat you alive. It's like there's been no forward positive movement because of the need to prove. You don't need to prove. Let go of your need to prove. That's a big message. I've said it multiple times. There's a relationship that has fallen apart or it is falling apart because of the need to be right. It's my way or the highway. And it has probably affected many relationships here. Maybe with your ex and with your family as well. Forgiveness is key. Seizing an opportunity. You have a new opportunity here. An opportunity for love. An opportunity for emotional fulfillment. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to look forward. It's let go of the regrets. Please. You have an opportunity for love here. You need to make some uh, compromises. You need to be able to adapt to change. You need to be more flexible. You need to take that next step. And this, for some of you, it's about taking care of yourself, working on you. You know, you need to enjoy life. 
Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the lessons that you have learned. The storm is over. The storm is over. Things are going to get better. They are going to get better, but you have to open up. And you have to forgive. I feel like you guys have been suffering. You've been suffering. You feel like you've been stabbed. You feel like you've been, you know, left for dead. Whatever. I'm not saying what that, that I'm not saying whatever in a bad way. You need to find your strength to stand back up and keep going. The worst is over. There's no place to go but up from here. At the end of this month, you are going to start to feel lighter. You are going to start to feel better. But you're going to have to stand up and you're going to have to forgive. Because with forgiveness, when you forgive, you're going to have to find your strength to forgive. When you find your strength to forgive, it will feel like a big, huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders. You may be dealing with um, insecurities. You're not listening to your inner guide. You may not be aware that you have the strength. You may not be. You may not be aware of how powerful you really are. You may not be listening. You may be dealing with somebody who's trying to give you guidance and you refuse to listen. This is coming out of the darkness, seeing the light. Don't let yourself be a victim to these circumstances. Accept help. Let somebody help you. Ace of Swords reversed. This is not accepting. Not communicating. Your challenge is opening up. Waking up. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Let somebody help you. Capricorn, I feel as though you are hurting yourself by secluding yourself and not letting your family in to help you. This is an opportunity for you to shine and to forgive and to release and to live again. This is a time of letting somebody in to help you. You need somebody to help you. And that's what I got. I feel like this is a time where you need to open up. Stop avoiding people who love you and let them in. And that's my advice. Good luck.